Hi guys, I am back today with another palette review and I'm just gonna say this before I even, you know, get into the swatches or anything else like that. It didn't go like I thought it was gonna go. So if you want my honest thoughts, watch to the end, you'll get them. Hey, okay, the palette that we're talking about is the Fenty number 10, the money palette. I think that's what this is, right? Yeah, 10, money. Mm -hmm. And actually, I was tagged in this Thank you so much because I really wanted to see this and they tagged me in this and the mascara that had come out and this is what the inside looks like. So of course you guys know that immediately I was like, oh, it's green. I must have it. Thank you, my pretty. So I did get it and this is the look I came up with while wearing it. I'm going to swatch this for you guys and then just hang tight to the end. You will see my honest thoughts on it. So without further ado, I'm going to swatch these for you guys. First shade in the palette is Fat Pockets. And it's a very deep green. Well, I would have thought it was going to be a metallic, but it is actually like a satin type of shade. Really pretty, kind of blue toned green. It's called Need Receipts. And it's just a really light shimmery green. Maybe got a little bit of a silver and a gold to it. It's a metallic. It's supposed to be very metallic I would say. Time is money. Okay I'm gonna be honest guys I don't know why it's swatching like this. It worked really nicely on the lid. It is just not working well in this way. It is rubber bands. Again, these worked really, really nicely on my lid itself, so direct deposit. And this is another, I would say satiny shade, maybe slightly more metallic. It's almost like a green, brown, gray, shiny shade. Shade is Flash Money. And it is a very gold shade. It is a metallic. I they had a really hard time getting it built up on my lid. Okay, so those were the swatches. If you guys are interested in this look that I did and my thoughts on the palette, keep watching.
Okay, so I'm back. I have my eyeliner on, I have my mascara on, and I have my final thoughts for you guys. This, um, I want to give it the best review possible, but I'm also not the type that is going to tell you guys something that's not true. Did I get a decent look out of it at the end? Yes, I did. I feel like this is a really nice look, and I'm happy with the way it turned out. Did I like the performance of it while using it? No. Let me explain this. The matte shades in here are really, really nice. I liked them and in fact the shimmers shimmers used as mattes also not bad but the metallics I literally had to I mean I've made actual digs into the pan just trying to get pigmentation and like brightness from it and even then I don't really feel like it's that me metallic it's just that it's you know colored so for me this is a pass if you I mean the price is really good but Here's a brand, another black owned brand, for instance, that if you really want to support black owned beauty, I think it is a great thing to do. Juvia's Place, just hands down, they are so much better and they're even more affordable and you get huge pants of product. So you can save some money, still support a business that is really worth it. Not that Fenty's not. I know that Fenty has other really nice products. This for me, I, I mean, half of it was worth it and then the other half I'm like, eh. And when I can go out and get a palette from Juvia's Place and have metallics that are just like so beautiful and save some money, I'm going to go that route instead. That's me just being really honest. I'm not trying to come down on Fenty because I think, number one, I like Rihanna. I think she's awesome. And I think she's got a great brand. I think she's done things that I really like. But this for me, and I love green eyeshadow. You guys know this. And gold. And all eyeshadow. <laughs> I just didn't like the formulation. That's my personal opinion. You may love it and it may work really, really well for you. So every everybody's got different skin, everybody's got different tastes, everybody likes different textures and makeup. For me, this just wasn't it. I'm really sorry. I, I mean, I can get a look out of it, but I'm gonna, oh, this is gonna sound awful. I like the, okay, you guys remember how Elf came out with those quads? I like that better than this. And in fact, I felt like the, Performance of this was very similar to that, except for those metallics were better. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But in any case, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.